Work of three joules is done in stretching a spring from its natural length to sixteen centimeters beyond its natural length. What is the force in newtons that holds the spring stretched at the same distance, which again is sixteen centimeters beyond its natural length? So to solve this problem, we'll be using the work integral shown here below, as well as Hooke's law. Where if an object moves in a straight line by a continuous force, big F of X, then the work done by the force, from X equals A to X equals B, is equal to the integral from A to B of big F of X integrated with respect to X. But again, because we're dealing with a spring, we'll use Hooke's law to determine the force function, big F of X. Where Hooke's law states that the force needed to stretch or compress a spring by some distance S is proportional to that distance, which means the force F is equal to K times S, where K is a spring constant, and S is the distance the spring is stretched or compressed. So Hooke's law states the force is equal to K times S. But in our case, because we want the force function to be a function of X, let's use X instead of S, which means our force function is big F of X equals KX. Now let's set up the work integral, given that we know the work equals three joules. So we'd have the equation three equals the integral now the spring is stretched from its natural length to 16 centimeters beyond its length, but because the work is in joules, we need this distance to be in meters, not centimeters. So we don't integrate from zero to 16, we integrate from zero to 0 0.16. And that's because 16 centimeters equals 0 0.16 meters. So it's important to make sure we have meters here, not centimeters. And we know our force function big F of X equals KX. We integrate with respect to X. So notice by solving this equation, we'll find the spring constant. And then we can determine the force using our force function. So integrating with respect to X, we would have the equation three equals, the antiderivative is going to be K times X squared divided by two, or K over two times X squared. So we have three equals K divided by two times, when X is 0 0.16, we have 0 0.16 squared, minus when X is zero, we have zero squared. So we have the equation three equals, well here we're going to have K times, and then we'd have one half times 0 0.16 squared, and that comes out to eight all over 625. Solving for K, we'd multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. So we'd have three times 625 divided by eight equals K. So the spring constant K is equal to this product, which comes out to 1875 all over eight. Which means now we know our force function for the spring is big F of X equals the spring constant K, which is 1875 divided by eight times X, which would be the distance the spring is stretched beyond its natural length in meters. Which means to answer this question, we need to find big F of 0 0.16, which is 1875 divided by eight times 0 0.16. And this product gives us 37.5 newtons. So it takes 37.5 newtons of force to hold the spring stretched at a distance 16 centimeters beyond its natural length. I hope you found this helpful.